plates can dizzle the black british cyclists you join me here with another zwift update talking about my experiences on zwift i'm coming to the top of box hill riding with the swedish zwift riders and today we're going to be doing some super tucking on the decline on the descent down the hill i'm going to see just how much speed you can accumulate while super tucking <laughs> and see if i can stick on without falling off so let's fast forward to the action here we go so my speed is up to 73 kilometers per hour i'm just going to pedal up just to gain some extra speed and i'm going to stop pedaling i'm in with the draft with this big blob of riders let's see if i can stick on now if you look on the top right of the screen you can see the gradient is minus five percent so in order to super talk the gradient needs to be uh, minus three percent or higher and you need to be going at a speed of faster than 56 kilometers an hour so the super talk is there but you can see the front group are starting to pull away from me despite my weight and the decline my speed is stuck at around about 71 kilometers an hour see i'm gaining slightly but the sheer force the power of that group is causing them to pull away from me so in order to jump back onto that group i'm going to need to put some watts in pedal up to the group so i can remain within the super tuck one of the benefits of super tucking on the descents is it gives you a chance for some real recovery especially after the climb but it's also an opportunity for you to keep pedaling and maybe get the gap on some of the people who are gaining the distance behind you you can get caught out while super talking as the gradient changes you notice i started pedaling just before the gradient dropped below minus three we've now reached the end of the descent we'll be coming out out of Surrey back in towards London so in order to join that front group I really need to kick up the watts again now and grab a wheel however on this occasion because this group are the ride pace is around about 2 to 2.2 .2 watts per kilogram and I know just from experience of riding that the group are pushing hard on the flats I'm having to work harder to keep up but they tend to be more subdued on the inclines which is why I caught them earlier on the hill despite falling back so what I'm going to do which is another little tip that I've learned through riding is I know that I can push consistent watts at a decent pace up the hills and that's where I'm, I'm going to catch the group so we're coming up to the escalator climb here I'm just going to ramp the watts up push 400 plus and even though if you look on the left you can see that there's about seven seconds in front look at that 600 plus watts here and there you go i have caught the group i've kept my momentum going as you can see as i reached the crest of the hill i was about 12 kilometers an hour i'm back with the group didn't have to push when i didn't need to i've played my advantage of having some prior knowledge and experience of riding the route but also knowing when to push and when not to push so and as this is a group ride the sweeper and the slower riders will have a chance to reform and continue our workout so hope you enjoyed this one it's a slight change to what i've been recording on these zwift and my training updates but i hope you like it leave me a comment below let me know what you think of this if you're new to zwift what your experiences are and also if you'd like to see any other types of video